Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi guys, I just want to tie one of the most famous salmon flies there is and that's a gold bodied woolly gun. We're going to tie it here on a size 6 uh, Patriot double uh, and I'm going to use a black Textream uh, standard. This is a 60 uh, Textream black. I'm starting just behind where I want the eye to be. And start to wrap back. So uh, we're going to put on a little butt on this fly and that's going to be gold oval. So this is a vineyard size 14. Tie that in on top. And wrap back just till the hook starts to separate out here. So what I'm going to do then is just to make the whole thing a little bit more secure and prevent rusting is just to put a little run of a light clear varnish on my wrappings there and then I'm going to wrap the butt section backwards so go back about three or four turns up to yourself depends on how many you want and I'm coming between the legs and up and over and then I'll tie that in come forward and snip it off. So the body on this fly is going to be a holographic gold tinsel so we're going to need to rib that with something so the options are that you either use wire or you use the rest of the tinsel. Now I did cut it off and the reason for that is I didn't want the fold back which would create a bump so I'm going to set this tinsel underneath the shank and just hold it back here while I tie it back. That way I have no lumps and bumps to deal with with my tinsel body. And then we'll go back up to the front of the fly. So I'm going to use a large gold holographic flat tinsel. The reason for that is just coverage. It's quicker. I'm going to hold that on at the front, tie it in, pointing forwards. The reason for that is that then as I wrap, it'll cover over those tie ins. So wrap it back till we get to our butt section and make sure that last wrap covers our thread. And then I'm coming forward slightly overlapping. So as you can see I did two layers there so that even if there is a slight gap between my turns on the forward layer you'll never see it. Most of these tinsels you'll find you can get a little bit of stretch in them so just as I get to the end I'm tightening it up a little bit so that I can go over it, flip it back and that. So now we take our rib and we'll come forward in even turns and tie that off underneath then I'm just going to change the angle of the tinsel, take it forward sharp scissors and trim that off so do here is uh, we're going to tie our bucktail wings both underneath and on top. So I have a bunch here of yellow and orange mixed. I'm 
and I have put that into the hair stacker just to even the tips up a little bit and then I'm going to set on the under wing first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that in that it's about one and a half to two times the length of the uh, hook. Just going to hold it in position there and put on a couple of wraps. And then I'm going to take another little bunch and go on the top of the shank. So whenever I, I can roll the bunch it sort of brings it together a little bit but any fibres that are sort of sticking out and not behaving themselves I'll remove. So I'm going to take that out until it's the same length. You could maybe even go very slightly longer on the top one and wrap over that. And then I'm going to add some black. Now you could have mixed the black in with it if you feel like, but this I think just separates it out a little bit. So I'm going to use a black bucktail. What I'm going to use is the it's hard to see with this, so I'll kind of explain what I'm doing with a, with a different coloured bucktail. So this is the sort of bigger standard bucktail that you'd use for tying, but this back of the the natural sort of brown end of it whenever, this one's dyed green obviously and this one's dyed black so you can't see the difference, but I'm going to use this for from the top of the uh, deer hair because this is actually finer and straighter. So if I flip this over Take a bunch of that. It does tend to be slightly shorter as well, is the only thing about it. I'm going to take a bunch of that. Set that up on top. Use my nail, I'm just going to splay it across my yellow and orange bunch. A couple of turns. As you see, I haven't actually tied anything in fully securely yet. I'm getting it in position as much as anything, so I'm going to flip this over. Same thing, hold it in position, I wrap. Check how it's splaying out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some thin super glue onto about an inch or so of my tie and thread. And I'm just going to go backwards with this to where the rear of the head would be. And then we need to trim it. So what I'm going to use here is a standing knife blade. And I'm just going to go to the front of my head. slice down through it, rotate the fly and then we just need to sort any individual fibers that are sort of sticking out there. And then to finish this off what I'm going to do is again take my super glue get some on the needle and then I just want to hit the front of my head because that's where the little cut ends of my hairs are going to be. Then I'm going to run the 
glue down a few inches of my thread and just finish my head with that and whip for half hitch in place. So that is our willy gun tied, we just need to varnish the head, so you can either wait and go with clear or use a, a black varnish for this. So I am going to use a bit of black. All the way around till the sort of blib joins itself and that is our fly tight so that is a gold bodied willy gun tied on a double certainly one of the flies with the best pedigree in salmon fishing that there's ever been so hopefully you liked the video if you did give us a like subscribe check out all the hundreds of other videos that are on the channel and uh, tell your friends and until next time tight lines and thanks for watching.